due to lack of funding, we haven't seen any of our community policing teams out on the streets. So it's a bit of a kick in the teeth, really. Does it feel like you're doing their work for them a little bit? Kind of does, in a way. So when we first started, the month before we started, 19 young boys were uh, mugged for their mobile phones and money, and they were taken down side streets. Um, and, and literally, it was more of a power game, I'd say. Um, but these poor boys, it was devastating for them that this had happened. We've seen a decrease in 48% in youth crime uh, during the times that we work. So we've pretty much helped stamp it out. If my son was four times mugged. One of them was by the same person twice. He would have him by the neck saying to his friend, give me everything you've got or I'm going to cut his throat. It got to the point where he was wanting a lift everywhere because he was only 16 then, he couldn't drive. A lift here, there and everywhere, whereas they would just jump on buses before. So it did have an impact on him. They have put over £100,000 worth of CCTV cameras in this area now because it was a constant, because of this situation here. Hey guys, can you hop off your bikes please? Um, so what used to happen was as soon as they hit the market square, this area had no coverage. So this is where all the kids were running that were robbing other children. We're absolutely devastated that our police station's closed. Um, they're changing it, they're turning it into housing. Uh, but it used to be so amazing having our neighbourhood policing team based at that police station right across from the high street and the school. Um, yeah, it's not making people feel safe and um, it's just devastating they've had to close it. We don't see any of the voluntary police, the PCOs I think they're called, and we don't see any police. Oh, and rather, rather the police were doing it, yeah, definitely. And you know what, just their presence would make a difference.